When temperatures soar into the hundreds, especially in places like Florida or California, a water park seems like a natural choice for families and thrill seekers looking to cool off and experience hot weather fun. Thousands of exciting adventure parks span across the globe with a wide range of attractions for all ages, from water slides at mountainous heights to artificial tidal waves and peaceful rivers. Or so it seems. Welcome to You Catch That, and today we will explore the top 10 most dangerous water slides. Make sure you stay tuned so you can catch the water slide that could be your final ride. Number 10. The Leap of Faith The Leap of Faith offers a daring and adventurous almost vertical drop from the top of the iconic Mayan temple. This 60-foot body slide propels riders at tremendous speeds through a clear acrylic tunnel submerged in a lagoon filled with amazing marine life including sharks. Caribbean reef sharks, barracudas, nurse sharks, amber jacks, and blue runner jacks all swim in the beautiful sapphire waters. The visitors might consider these sharks to be an added danger factor when in reality they pose no threat at all. The Leap of Faith claimed one non-human life when the shark jumped into the slide and died from chlorine complications. This incident leads to speculation. What would happen if a rider slipped out from the open tunnels right into the mouth of a reef shark? Number 9. The Black Hole Have you ever wanted to experience the nature of a black hole? A 500-foot enclosed water slide, the black hole features a number of heart-thumping twists and turns as you slide in complete darkness. One might imagine the kind of injuries inflicted by this slide. In the year 2000, Wet and Wild Orlando had to pay a man $1.75 million for the injuries he sustained on the black hole ride. Wayne Dowling had been struck by something on the way down when he exited the bottom. He couldn't move his legs. A few seconds later, an empty inner tube came out. He later needed a titanium plate inserted in his neck as a result of his injuries. Three other lawsuits have been placed against the black hole, most from tube malfunctions. Number 8. The Emerald Plunge What better way to debut a new water park than a water slide scare? The green-colored emerald plunge rises three stories into the air with an 80-degree angle drop, where riders come sliding down at breakneck speeds into a pool. In 2017, a 10-year-old boy flew off the ride, hit the pavement like a rag doll, and skidded a few paces before coming to a stop. He escaped this rattling accident with minor scrapes and bruises. Number 7. Cannonball Loop Action Park had a lot of insane and dangerous rides, but the most infamous of all the rides remains the Cannonball Loop. An enclosed tube going into a complete loop. From an engineering perspective, the Cannonball Loop looks inspired from a cartoon. Because of the full 360 loop, riders needed a lot of momentum and to achieve the required speed, park guests climbed to the top of a tall platform where a ride attendant hosed down the riders to help reduce friction. If a rider tried to slow themselves down, they wouldn't have the necessary speed to complete the loop. Guests would then get smashed up in the loop resulting in concussions, broken noses, and broken teeth. Furthermore, sand and dirt would collect at the bottom of the loop and riders would get abrasions and scratches all over their backs and legs. After several riders got stuck inside the cannibal loop, the park had to install an escape door on the side. Due to safety concerns by the advisory board on carnival amusement ride safety, the infamous Action Park Loop slide had been closed after a month. Before the debut of this dangerous ride in 1985, both park employees and test dummies had been used to test the Cannonball Loop. After multiple test dummies emerged decapitated, Eugene Mulvihill, the owner of Action Park, offered to pay employees $100 each for each time they tried the new water slide. Adjusted for inflation, $100 in 1985 would be equivalent to $250 today. His son first tried the slide during its testing phase who wore hockey equipment for protection. Several employees followed his lead only to emerge with those nosebleeds or missing teeth. Number 6. Sahara Sidewinders The 60-foot tall indoor water slide drops riders from a trapdoor chamber into one of two looping slides. Kalahari advertised the Sahara Sidewinders as the only indoor looping water slides in the nation. And when the resort added this ride to the park in 2011, they called the Sahara Sidewinder the first of their kind in the world. 
However, in March 2018, a Michigan family sued the Kalahari Resort after their son injured himself on the Sahara Sidewinders. The lawsuit described the ride as a dangerous condition or trap. Brian Hodgkiss, the family's attorney, wrote in the lawsuit that the ride posed an unreasonable risk of injury. And the resort knew this, but didn't take additional safety precautions. The lawsuit alleged Kalahari Resort knew of the risk of injury due to prior reported incidents. Number 5. Aquascoot Aquascoot details a ride using plastic sleds to hurdle down a 60-foot track slide and land in a shallow pool to skip across the surface, like human stones tossed across a pond. If riders shifted just a little bit on the plastic sled, they would go head first off of the slide and often become trampled by oncoming riders. The metal rolling pins on the track were like those rollers in the factory, says Craig Simmons, who worked at the park and now directs the Jay Peak Resort in Vermont. Kids would lean back and hit their head on the rollers, sometimes really hard. A lot of bells were rung. Number 4. Aqua Loop In Gold Coast, Australia, Aqua Loop starts by entering a trap door, where riders wait in anxious anticipation before being released down a giant 52-foot near-vertical drop and up into a full looping slide at insane speeds of up to 37 miles per hour. Like other rides with loops, Aqua Loop depends on how fast your body will move in order to move around the loop. A woman, unable to make the loop, got stuck on the slide. She suffered from several injuries and as a result, she sued the park for $400,000. Number 3. Vertigo Considered one of the tallest water slides in the world, Vertigo remains one of the most visited attractions in Benidorm, Spain. Riders go up to the top of the slide and stand on a trap door. Once the operators pull the lever, riders will fall into the steep slide with a speed of almost 60 miles per hour. A famous accident took place in July 2014. The trap door failed to fully open and as a result, the rider, Jamie Norman, had severe injuries in his face, arms and legs. According to the Manchester Evening News, he said, I could have been killed. If I had been knocked unconscious, I could have lost control and fallen and drowned in the pool. I took an almighty crack on my face. Norman almost died and the slide opened a mere 10 minutes later. Number 2. Cannonball Falls Another entry on this list from Accident Park, I mean Action Park. The state of New Jersey mentioned that Cannonball Falls had the highest numbers of reported injuries among its peers of other water slides in New Jersey. The exit of the Cannonball Falls consists of a 10-foot drop into the water, which led to riders having several injuries in different parts of their body. Voted as the most dangerous water slide in the state of New Jersey, Action Park closed Cannonball Falls in 2015. Most injuries included water impact injuries, concussions, and body-to-body -body collisions. Number 1. Ferukt Ferukt, meaning crazy or insane, opened in July 2014 at the Schlitterbahn Water Park in Kansas City. The ride stood at 168 feet, taller than the tallest water slide Kilimanjaro at Aldea das Aguas Park Resort in Brazil. Ferukt had been designed to consist of two drops, the initial being a 17-story plunge with a 5-story uphill midsection. The ride included the use of three-person rafts, each weighing 100 pounds and carried up by conveyor to the top of the slide, while the riders climbed 264 steps to reach the top. To avoid issues with rafts lifting off the slide, rider groups had been weighed twice, once at the bottom and again at the top before riding. To make sure the combined weight would be between 400 pounds and 550 pounds, a series of metal hoops and meshwork also kept the rafts from going airborne on the slide track. However, at least 13 riders suffered non-fatal injuries such as concussions or slipped and herniated discs, many of which had long-term effects, after either hitting or being thrown into the meshwork. After a Missouri man thrown from the raft suffered facial injuries in June 2016, the park's operations manager attempted to cover up the incident, telling lifeguards what to write in their reports. Ferduk faced the final blow when a heartbreaking accident happened. Caleb Schwab, a 10-year-old boy, died when his raft went airborne during the ascent of the second hump and impacted the metal support of the meshwork. He suffered a severe neck injury to the point of decapitation. The other two passengers, both women, suffered injuries in the incident. One suffered a broken jaw while the other suffered a facial bone fracture and needed stitches. 
Want to see more content? Hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay up to date with the best of top 10. What do you want to see next?